bear in mind that since uh, 2000, I became naturalized American citizen in 2000. So I am American citizen in 2000. When it comes to domestic and internationally affiliated terrorism charges against Kamala Harris, it's going to be difficult to apologize. Uh, so pathetic so that American Democratic Party evaluated my future charges against Kamala Harris as as absolutely uh, pertaining to the Foreign Terrorist Act. However, however, not valid, void, as she would become American president and would therefore support Ukraine against Russia. It was if, if, if. <laughs> uh, no, there is no if. Uh, there is something that's known as past. And I know Central Intelligence Agency doesn't like that. Um, Barack Obama was the one who solicited terrorism against me in the United States of America during Never more probably than he started during Ronald Reagan. He would became a frequent visitor of Ronald Reagan office, White House office, beginning, I think, sometimes in 1984, even 1984. It was like probably the first visit from Barack Obama to Ronald Reagan. And then it was 96 and so on. Uh, those are uh, civil rights groups. Obama was uh, a big representative. He was very, very promising. A big representative for whatever group, black group. And he became a frequent visitor of the White House. However, sometimes in 19... The best I remember Kamala Harris visiting White House 2002 when I actually thought that she's gonna help me out. That's why I remember her 2002 like the most in most colorful ways. The thing is she did not help out. Uh, she started to visit with her mentor Barack Obama White House I would say as early as in 1986 and uh, 1986, 1986, not 96, but 1986 and Ronald Reagan presented me this, guys, um, actually the first time that I recall Ronald Reagan, he referred to them as, he asked them for help with the Richard Nixon. Uh, are you guys gonna help us? It was like this. Um, uh, Ronald Reagan, if he was alive today, I would charge him at the least with domestic terrorism act. He absolutely is affiliated to international, to foreign terrorist act. Why would Donald, why would Ronald Reagan be affiliated to foreign terrorist act? Because he committed against me delivered me to United States of America with the Russia, with the Soviets, on behalf of the Soviets created war inside of New York where United Nations are located he steered the shit that was that resembled highly of the war zone in New York 
and did so by saying to me, well, boy, you have nothing to be afraid of. You're down in America. You're a homeland. You're a real homeland, boy. And, of course, gave me, boosted my self-confidence to the degree that I started to really enjoy his talks when with Nixon and others have discussed about how the heads of United Nations people were spinning around when they saw me in United States of America, in New York, in accompanied with presidential top people, with elite. Um, something that Soviets, I should say not Soviets, but the Russians have in Moscow used, as they stated to me, to kill God in me, to kill God in me. That was the name of the violence, the Russian violence. And you know, it was not easy on me. Um, <clears throat> a regretful uh, Ronald Reagan, who is so appreciated by American people, uh, changed his stance. Wow. Uh, he started in 1981 and changed his stance sometimes in 1996 against me. So, uh, going from a total ally, he changed his stance against me, changed his stance against me. He was doing everything possible to get me killed, lynched, lynched out of existence. Five years into his presidency, um, but I described really well his presidency, how with the black lynching, how that stuff was done in a previous video. That's a beautiful video here, I did. Reagan, in 1971, phone call to Nixon. Uh, I don't believe this phone call ever existed. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because he tried to he tried to match the circumstances of something. He aimed at something all along <coughs> throughout his presidency. And I think Ronald Reagan actually knew about this phone call since the time he commenced his presidency and was using me to clean his criminal record he established through another a really strange incident which I did describe very well, not only in the video, but moreover, uh, read this stuff here this was his favorite room actually this was not his favorite room he had other favorite room he had favorite room that were really aristocratic and nancy reagan that's interesting isn't it uh hated the idea for me to see myself in as i asked inquire to her when delivered in some museum up in New York or wherever that was, Washington, I don't know. And I inquired about idea, where is my statue? Uh, she was presenting me statues with, you know, other people uh, decorated and so on. And uh, yeah, pictures of these people. And I said, and every time she presented me that stuff, I thought it was done for me, for my sake. So, you know, voila, Sebastian Bob, this one is dedicated to you. And she was, how can I say, she was just, she spent days with me inside of that museum, but those days inside of that museum, because she keep coming back, for more and more abuse against me inside of that mu museum. Um, that would go over a period of months. It all started with her husband, Ronald Reagan visit. The two paid visit to that museum, whatever that was. 
and uh, to her that I see myself in something different, uh, deserved, worthy, was just the most obnoxious idea. I mean, like, who do you think you are? I mean, I was literally considered from the point of view of Nancy Reagan uh, as a mental patient. Uh, so, for me to say that Ronald Reagan was choosing inside of his White House the most aristocratic rooms, there were like some old rooms that were really aristocratic, really, um, where he would take pictures of himself, where he would pose for the camera. Um, it is needless to say that the photo he took in this room here, uh, which I spoke about this photo in the video, I think it's photo is here. There you go. This is the photo. This was a room <clears throat> which was my favorite room. Um, and in contrast to that big smile that Ronald Reagan has and Richard Nixon all over the face, the room is white with the yellow chairs in it and uh, it significates a very very bright colors which characteristically for the people that are subjected to MK ultra bestiality or torture they always if they traumatize they always search for a really really bright colors like those colors that you see right there <coughs> so those colors in contrast to Ronald Reagan are giving their own story about who this individual was and you know what this smile was really these big smiles were all about now uh, Kamala Harris insisted that Kamala Harris insisted I would be nothing I could do to her and so on uh, no, it's not true. This here is very much this terrorist act, whatever the hell I had. Was it here? No. We're gonna take this off. Not quite true. Um, this terrorism that went on and I just proven you that Ronald Reagan was in bed uh, and with the Russians and with the domestic terrorist groups uh, throughout the United States of America that he became a financier of a black unrest um, boy every time whenever I was delivered to United States of America <laughs> As you would already think that it's over it was like uh, like the guy does like this and it was the Slovenian police with the black uh, groups domestic black groups that organized itself into a protests and the next thing you see is Sia would deliver me again into this into the nest of these groups into the violence and the show which i described in that video right there would repeat again over and over and over and uh so <clears throat> was this a form of terrorism for which uh, ronald reagan who dealt cash became a cash dealer uh with richard nixon uh, Central Intelligence Agency was was this a form of terrorism, domestic terrorism? Well, I was not American citizen at the time yet, but of course he sponsored uh, black unrest throughout the United States of America. He became a sponsor of the black violence through this case. He was using me. He was using my case to spread all kinds of issues uh, through which. He in charge himself would govern the state. Uh, and did it this involve foreign uh, governments such as Russia? Well, take a wild guess. I think I did a good 
good job of describing about what went on. So Kamala Harris first time met, I think, the White House, her first White House visit was in 96, or through Kamala Harris bitched me, uh, that her fi first visit to the White House was with me in 1991. It's not true, Kamala. Okay? Oh. Yeah, Kamala had me sometimes in 1990 with her. And it was like a, a, a film type of stuff that, you know, she, the same thing like in Los Angeles, she had it to, this time to the White House, all nervous, you know, she wanted to look nervous. Um, MK Ultra is like a, some sort of, a, no, this is, this is like a, this is like an imitation of the movie, basically, what you would get impression under the movie. They try to imitate, you know, situation in such a way as if you would watch, you know, some kind of movie or you would have in a, in a certain way you would relate yourself to a movie. Very, very similar way. Simulation, basically, because you are totally disabled. You are disabled physically. Um, more than physically, you're restrained mentally. You are, your brain are retarded. Uh, really, <clears throat> I don't know what was it because of so many different factors from violence to death threats um, and even different drugs, different type of drugs they would injecting me parallel to um, to whatever they were using for um, you know to keep me in you know as a, as a MK ultra drug to keep you drugged up without the ability to defend yourself without the ability to take control over the situation MK ultra this is like life going before your eyes in a very slow motion basically it's retarded it, it, those drugs definitely retard it slows you down slows down your reactions uh unless you contemplate on something and you do it you are it just is slowing you down those drugs are slowing you down i can say that so it's it's a perfect tool to to take mental control over the individual physical control over the individual it doesn't have you don't have no chance to liberate yourself from those drugs mm, you don't know how many times i spent thinking about how long would it take for body to clear itself of those drugs and they watch you they watch your face all the time your facial expressions and they they watch every step you make every move you make all the fucking time there's no place to go no place to hide no no way to no way to escape uh, and even if you would escape like i did several times i rebelled myself uh started throwing punches and stuff and running they easily catch up with you and they are never one, they are many, and you are one, and you are drugged up, and before you know, you are on the floor, and everybody's laughing on top of you, if they are laughing, if it's not something worse than that. Um, Kamala Harris... however screw herself up badly with Barack Obama it 
Today I saw this here, this uh, bat cave in North Carolina. People were uh, especially affected by this hurricane. As you see, Helen made landfall on September 26. Category 4 storm near Perry, Florida. It tore through six states. 225 lost their lives and most in North Carolina but this beautiful 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 place this scenic place this incredibly beautiful place here that you see was um, this was a frequent uh, hiking route you know this is where I would go a hundred times on this road up and down in this beautiful place now, if you see this really beautiful place in Carolina, <coughs> became of the biggest interest to American politicians uh, once um, you mentioned uh, not a hurricane, but the storms frequently cause this stream here that you see here, this broad river tear everything apart and um, opposed to some other areas this was a really really scenic area this is so beautiful if you go if you ever go here this water this rapids this little rapids here that you see this it's incredibly scenic beautiful hiking route uh, became very 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 popular sometimes in 2006 uh, or actually maybe even 2003 they had a, a very very bad storm that ran through here and it was a, probably by far a bigger devastation that you have even seen maybe I don't know this time it was a totally totally devastated area which prompted uh, residents to uh, let me let me demonstrate you what I learned here from the from the natives here. See that Yahoo have reminded me of this. But the natives uh, learned about one thing. They, they, uh, they were advised not to build here anymore like this along the stream. That was one thing. And um, this house for instance here, they, they wouldn't listen very much and it came to them, to them late. However, if they wouldn't have done, um, this kind of structures, which uh, one other man started to do upstream, he's located upper, up the river. Uh, he figured out that he need to do this barriers here. Um, they wouldn't listen to him. The stream would come back and would tour houses, properties, these beautiful little uh, houses that they built. Uh, this is like a fender here for the um, cement block. Um, uh, if you only can, you should definitely invest uh, more than just cement block. You should just invest into the rock, uh, really into the bedrock wall here. Uh, all around and that would help you save your housing structure because a stream like this becomes a really really nasty river that is taking down absolutely everything as it rolls down hills right everything in front of you just as you can see here uh, this must have been really really bad because I see even part of the portion of the road at this time eroded even the road and and uh, took one along so that you see that that when, when, what this what can happen is uh, yeah it can get really really bad but this kind of wall this kind of walls helped save these structures now I don't know if these owners are gonna still exist here next time um, I am saying this because I have seen with my own eyes people abandoning uh, housing projects along this beautiful river. There was many more little houses and stuff like that. 
and after the damage devastated them like this uh, most of them in 2002 2002 probably just abandoned their projects their housing projects you understand so yeah i know what i'm talking about again i was there uh i watched this uh, i watched homeowners being interviewed by the politicians um well you know when uh, something like this happens and especially if it's like in a really beautiful scenic area uh you have the politicians all over the place by the way um our presidential american presidential candidate kamala harris might have even purchased a property in the area that's why maybe is um uh interesting for me to picture this using let's say this oh she made a big fucking mistake here with me uh this here this 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 place here that yahoo listed as a bat cave this this is what kamala harris used uh, as a, a location inside of United States of America where I know that she was violenced no fucking way we would do the same thing in America you know what Ronald Reagan told me I told him and why should I like United States of America what do you, what are you so special about it opposed to the Soviet Union opposed to this other countries what is so special about you yeah, and Ronald Reagan told me um, when I was a baby, literally, he told me, well, he said, you know, uh, when I was a baby, he said to me, for one thing, he said, the United States of America, we have a camera, you know, we have those Polaroids, we have those, you know, he did to me. And I was, hmm, okay. Uh, so meaning that uh, everybody had a fucking camera in the United States. Yeah, I was corrected. Well, almost everybody. Uh, I think everybody had camera in the United States, and so it was like. Uh, he said to me, "You don't have to worry about, uh, you know." He was a totally different politician when he worked in the background than what once he became a president. I think he 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 was lost. I think in a way he was happy that I came. Uh, and uh, once he became a president. Um, I'm not gonna say that maybe I'm not deserved because I would give the hell to to destroy Russians and anything in the world to fuck those that supported Russians. And that was exactly black American community, which went on, I think nowhere more than in Baltimore because Baltimore was so deadly, it turned out to be so deadly they wouldn't even bring me. Um, they just, wanted to fucking kill me and because or I on the other hand once Ronald Reagan became a president and I was like oh yeah now you got it now you're gonna see not only Soviet Union not only in Moscow but I was now we're gonna fuck you too here in the United States boy they wanna fucking kill me uh, from all the sides little the hell I knew about what went on this is this is the way it was with the Ronald Reagan it was first when it all started it was like it felt like wonderful it felt wonderful to go fuck laugh and give myself all the joy in the face of this United Nations representatives and this black community leaders and you're gonna do now what what are you gonna do now i also grew up a little bit uh and 
I was in heaven, boy, when I came to the United States of America. Uh, the beatings, however, went on. It went on. It's like it wasn't any change, really. And uh, the thing about it is, you know, later the hell I knew about what went on till it became evident to me that um, this uh, presidency of Ronald Reagan, this was something else. Um, but uh, Ronald Reagan acted in a such a way that it was impossible for me to figure out what went on because he was he acted in a such a way that he would have people complain him in front of me and he would just put the head down and be like like in a sense oh yeah i know you know and it made me watch this shit you know and uh uh, you know, I, it made me even feel bad, you know, oh, look at the man, you know, you know, I was like, sorry, you know, for something that, you know, I should have kicked his ass, really. This was Ronald Reagan, this is the way it was, and so if he would be alive today, he's not, Kamala Harris, however, he is, and so is Barack Obama, I would have charged one, absolutely with domestic and foreign terrorist acts. This location here is where Kamala Harris as well as psychiatrist Peter Kapsch used repeatedly to suggest me it could be like this and it could be like that. And to get things even better The devastation of <laughs> yeah, I just love this shit. They usually stick with the news for some time, but yeah, sometimes you know I almost feel like they change it on instant. Shit, every time when I pick on something that is important for me, it's my fault. though, it's nothing. Um. Arrests were made, you know, under this news here. That's what the headline was for this news. Let's go back. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, shit. Arrests made after FEMA crews threatened amid hurricane relief efforts. And then there was some poor bastard they had on the picture also. Uh, who, oh, there it is. The guy that you have seen right there. Who sometimes when I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital in 2013. Um, you know, I told the politician will keep coming back here. This was area of Gingrich. Uh, there were so many fucking politicians. I said that I went here 100 times up and down this hiking this area here. I I probably went down up and up and down here more than 100 times. 100 times is a lot, but I probably went 1000 times through here. Um the thing is that uh, this area here um once Kamala Harris wrote about this, uh, this is where her you know, Doug Emhoff, Emhoff uh, love story was developing through here. I don't know whether they purchased a property here or not, but I think they did. I'm pretty sure they did. They probably sold it. Um, the love story. Uh, it took to the next gear when I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital. Uh, really the one who threw me into the husp uh, psychiatric hospital was none other than Barack Obama. And Kamala Harris was his right hand. This became his MK Ultra, totally, I'm gonna say, authorized killer, lyncher. Uh, a public lyncher, basically advocate of the lynching. And we'll never ever forget this area here 
where she was using even a psychiatrist cop after presenting me this issue and or after Slovenian police would present me with the issue and she would come here and post next to me innocent and remind of she the politicians don't want to they don't want you to they, they know that people watch they know that people record she was all fucking paranoid Every one of these politicians, including the British royals, they have a full shit, full underwear of shit, full pants of shit, worry about whatever the fuck they say, always using a police to do the terror, to terrorize, to brutalize, to devastate. Then on the side they remind you, then they pose next to you to remind you. And that's how this picture also comes to mind. The way this was done was under this news was for me to see myself in this individual who was arrested, uh, promised he's going to be arrested already in 2013. I witnessed the FEMA uh, federal uh, workers heading up hills here to offer people help, assistance. They went into something to some totally inaccessible areas where they had a problem again sometimes in I think they had some kind of flood or something also in 2012. This is always a frequently heavy affected area. Uh, and they used 2000, I don't know, 2012 or whatever that, 2011, whatever they had this again. And this is areas, folks. Are always affected areas that you read about how many people died devastated are areas that always comes under the same uh, spotlight basically more or less uh, maybe or till at least they get affected so much that government finally prohibits uh, any kind of structures from reoccurring etc 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 I mean that's basically, that's just the way it works, you know? Uh, so, in this house, I was so many times. This was the house where <clears throat> politicians would stop and sit and drink and enjoy themselves. Uh, these people with the scenic area houses, they very much aff affiliate the politicians, the political powers of Washington, D.C. This isn't just, just like that, I mean... Um, and so uh, Kamala Harris was a visitor of this house for one thing which finally did place those walls uh, in according with example of the house I told you earlier about um, this was relatively late and um, what they would do they would on an upper portion of the property they would put this and here I see they put all around and that's what saved that little house, that little structure. Now even the couple, it was a couple that, um, if I would go into it, I would even tell you about this couple. Uh, this couple is a couple that moved up here basically away from, away from, uh, I think daughters they raised, literally. I think they had two daughters, but I'm not sure. When you will see this guy here arrested, is what I was told. I'm going to reload this news. When you see him arrested, that's when you're going to be thrown into the psychiatric hospital, was a news from Kamala Harris. And so <clears throat> I know for a fact that I will get Kamala Harris arrested. Nobody enjoyed more and caused more devastation, death, not death, but devastation, terror, 
lynching then Kamala Harris, who was uh, a right hand Barack Obama is deputy during his presidency and whose presidency was used to really get me killed. I know I will get her on a foreign and on a domestic terror charges. Foreign and domestic terror act charges. So I'm just letting you know about her presidency. If you will continue with her presidency, you do have a presidential candidate that seriously will, will be charged with a serious charges, most serious charges, and will not get away with it. Not even in uh, Slovenia where you Americans have military alike Stalinist courts. Uh, which are referred even as uh, some way somehow are referred even as a civil courts of some kind. Which is going to continue with basically this news here when it comes to the central intelligence boss this guy here this dude uh, this individual did purchase house this individual did purchase house house that I described in a video in this video here which is something I have posted down below here it is just uh, is just is just not a good person this is just the kind of person that simply knew he is a shit he knew he was a shit he knew that what he played under MK Ultra was a shit and he bet on absolutely, absolutely everything is what William J. Burns, everything he had, he invested in this bridge here. It could be like this, and it could be like that. But in my country, look at me. You know, in, in my country, in my state of mind, yeah. You can call me insane, you can do whatever the fuck you want, but you're not going to get away with domestic and foreign terrorist act charges from me. In my little fucking country, in the country of one, This bridge here that you see, this is the message for William J. Burns personally. Do you remember when you purchased your house? In the video number one of this here, I described you your parents' house and your family house exactly the way it was oh, i thought i would end this video about see this here how oh, that individual it's exactly the way it was your parents had a different house and you purchased the house just like i described your parents had a house like this just like this the house did not look like that. The house, the house, when it comes to the house, it's actually more like a villa, you know? It was quite a villa, actually, this, this was, uh, it was a villa, it was a villa, and, yes. and uh, William J. Burns is not, is not, he has a siblings. What I, I did. Maybe even brother, who the fuck knows. Yes. Not only sister, but also, I think, a brother. Uh, rather like this. I don't know what. This is this is what 
a villa from his parents looked like except that they had more green around it was all green like like very good described here this very very good described yeah and when Williams J Burns purchased his home which I quite well also have described the area what it looks like his home Prince Charles King Charles delivered this one you know what he stated to me do you know what this cretin stated to me this is a CIA director cretin I know the day when he stated to me to me this that I will be the one who will get one killed literally because he had me he, he gave me no fucking choice I knew that when he stated to me this in my country in my state we decided on getting one literally executed he stated to me this year this that's what he stated the words of his in 1983 when he purchased the house 1986 and it might have been even I don't know 1986 is when probably he purchased his house to me were it could be like this and it could be like that and what he was doing is he was scratching his ass thinking about how much damage he had done to me already therefore in a terms of physical violence in 1986 or 1989 I don't know it doesn't matter but on a day when he purchased the house he was thinking about one thing when he was showing me the area when he was searching for his precious house it might have been actually I bet everything into 1988 1987 1988 where Richard uh, William J Burns purchased house he stated me it could be like this and it could be like that and people who tell you that it could be like this or it could be like that are criminals who do this stuff either for their owners or they do it for themselves due to the harm damage they have committed against you and uh, William J Burns that must have been in 1988 because I will describe those nuclear negotiations William J. Burns participated too between the United States of America and Soviet Union the nuclearization act caused already enough damage for me to have based on his words that he dared even to come out to say to me it could be like this it could be like that to make a firm decision that this guy is to be killed if my case was to progress to a dead-end street where there would be no left no right no forward and then the forward would be exactly what I stated right now execution through the charges of domestic and foreign terrorist act so what's gonna happen is next to Kamala Harris Barack Obama I will send to American police to FBI to Central Intelligence Agency request to charge one with a foreign and domestic charges related to the terrorism when Burns made that statement in his neighborhood it was not in front of his home that he could be like this he could be like that it was the moment when I knew exactly what I have to do with him in the future if I find myself in a dead-end street like something like this this is also a dead-end street you imply to me on a terrorism based on a torture you engaged again you you mr william j burns you participated in a psychiatric torture of psychiatric clinic lubdana polia you used slovenian police 
and the UU Slovenian politicians, UU Slovenian psychiatrists to inflict as much physical harm, not only psychological harm, as possible, as well you use all government services to keep me blacklisted. This allowed me the right to employment. You committed Mount Evers of genocidal crimes against me together with a Kamala Harris with a Barack Obama. And you knew it in that neighborhood of yours when you purchased the house that you just have to do it that way. And I knew it that I have to destroy you because you committed already so much crime and you contemplated it even more. I would have fucking smashed your face in 1988 when you had me in that neighborhood and you know it that I couldn't see you because I did that to other people already. They were bastards like you. You are a torturous maniac. You are addicted to the torture. You are, addic you are, you are a killing addict. You know that? Do you know that you have a real, real psychological... Mm, I don't know how you say that. Mistake. Mistake. I don't know how you say that in English. Disorder. That is... Compelling you. That is, that is just... That you are addicted to. That you are... You are I don't know how, ex how to express myself in it. To a killing. I know who you are, sir, because, because in 1988, if I could, when you stated me that stuff, I didn't know, I was frustrated. I would have smashed your face in front of those police officers when you did that stuff as much as I could. Yeah, yeah, but it was really too much dunk, too much shit like yourself to choose from and little life to live. That's why I know who you are, where you are coming from, where you are taken to, where the whole have taken thing have taken to, what exactly you are used for, what exactly you are in my case. Enjoyed literally in a psychiatric killing, conditioning, terror threats, torture. And plain what he believed Burns with a Kamala Harris will be even uncertainty. You know? I will be 53 this December. And so, does he get more bestial than this? Can you be bigger beast than this? Can you be more animal than this? Maybe if your name was Ronald Reagan. Not a diplomat. Not a politician, a simple little fucking bureaucrat, a little fucking worm, bureaucrat, William J. Burns.